everyone sort of knows Fez as sort of the GT guy, but when you talk to him, it's fly fishing. Like that is his real passion. If he could do anything else for the rest of his life, it's probably going to be fly fishing. I don't think there's many other things in fishing that make me weak at the knees like sight casting to a fish in the flats. When you see one of those fish turn over and roll onto your crab, it, it's mind boggling. And then the fight starts. You know, they are absolutely brutal. One day he just said to me, why don't we just do a fly only trip? I really want to do a fly only trip. I've been wanting to do that for ages. So here we are. got to meet Chris, aka Fez, and we've done some work together for Shimano with conventional tackle and doing all the chasing all different sorts of species. And throughout that, we had behind the scenes, we had a, a share, shared a passion for fly fishing and a love for fly fishing. And from there on, we just planned trips and planned species to catch, and it's been a really good journey so far. Basically, as soon as the cameras were off, all we were talking about the whole time is fly fishing. Once the opportunity was presented to, to take on a trip like this, I mean, the first person I could think of to jump in and do a fly trip was Benny. Fly fishing for me has been like that forbidden fruit that you're dancing with your, your high school sweetheart and there's that, that girl in the corner that keeps making eyes at you, but there's nothing you can do about it. And fly has been that, that thing that has always given me something to aim for. When Fez organised to get someone else, I'm like, I've got the guy to come. He was going to fish with Mick and Mick wanted to do fly and what better guy to introduce fly to anyone. And he's the sort of guy that is the father figure to us all. And uh, one, he can cook and two, he can catch fish. The idea behind this trip, not only fly only, but it was to tick off bucket list species for every person. So there's four guys on this trip and not one of us have caught a tusky on fly. Knowing where we think they might be, that was pretty exciting to get out and sort of test that. I knew how good the place was going to be. We searched all the flats and um, found some tuskies. On the first day, I was fishing with Mick, and it was pretty cool because Mick hadn't actually caught a fish on, on fly. Mick placed his cast absolutely perfect, and he set the hook, and he was on. There was no way this fish was gonna get off. It was really special for me to be there, to see that progression. The amount of stuff that I've learned about fly fishing in one day with that guy is, it's blown my mind. That day is gonna be a day that I'll probably remember for forever, because it was one of those special days. Everybody knows of Benny, of the quality of work that he produces within the industry, and especially fly fishing. Finally being on the other side of the lens, it's a, it's a real treat to me, and I, I, 
I cherish every chance I get. I think Benny's passion for fly fishing really shows through his work, but it doesn't show you how much of an animal the guy is on a rod and reel. While we're on these jogs, me and Chris, he was telling me about these species called tuskies. I had a chance to chase one, and he's put me on the spot, and he put me up there first, and he's like, I've had one cast, and it just landed in the right spot. Fish just come over and just slammed it, and bore my mind, and he's just drove me into the reef and all over, and Chris, turned around, and Chris is there, he's just laughing, and going, well, that's, it. Well, that's what happened when you chase tuskies. So, from there on, I was just like, all right, I want revenge on one of these fish. day two and I still didn't have another chance to get an eat off one of these tuskies and uh, it was the morning, tide looked good and we sort of rolled around this little out rocky outcrop, there's a bit of a ridge coming out and perfect water and once this popped up, so laid one out, probably led it by about oh, two, three metres and he's just come over, come over and a couple of strips got his attention and he's just climbed all over it and just beelined, line burns, straight into the reef underneath it, I'm like didn't even get a chance to get it the reel, it was already way under and for an hour Fez had the snorkels on and he was in and straight in trying to get it. There you go, Fez. After all of that hassle to jump in the water and swim down, grab it out of a cave, and this is Benny's first husky, I thought, wow, was that worth it or what? Yes! Yes! My man! Well, in fly fishing you got to work hard for a lot of species and uh, when you finally get to get them in your hands it's a pretty special moment you, like you take the time and you just you look at the colors the the patterns the characteristics of every fish has got a different characteristic and it's amazing to see that and then you hold it and you, you spend some time with it you sort of don't want to let it go and then you have to sort of finally release it and the moment of it releasing it swimming away and you're still in sort of knee deep water it's a, it's a pretty special moment I feel like when I, when I get a shot on a good fish, I feel like I'm calm at the time, but then you know you get an eat or something like that and all of a sudden that rush of adrenaline is just bang, in your face. Well Fez has had his uh, eye on a tusky for a long, long time and he's had a few hit and misses. If you lose a fish, a good fish on the flats, you're, you're, you're weak at the knees, your, your hands are shaking. For me that's everything I get out of fishing. Chris around and then Chris and I, we sort of both spotted this big blue blob on the reef and it was just in the perfect pot of water and Chris is just like, all right, I'm on, I'm on, I'm just going to do a test cast and I'm just going to get my length out. I'm like, okay, no worries. He's put one out and it's just laid out perfectly and it's just come over and just slammed it. These are one of the most beautiful fish that you will see swimming. To have them get up onto a sand flat and, and be able to cast at them in, you know, bugger or water is absolutely mind blowing. <laughs> 